Good evening and welcome to Smart Entrepreneurship Decoded on Transcontinental Times. Last week, we had an interesting encounter with the ambassador to Sao Tome and Principe, who brought a unique perspective on the role of culture in, in entrepreneurship and work in general, and how you can apply a growth mindset to almost any situation, even as a diplomat. The stories that we see in the mainstream media of entrepreneurs being celebrated are largely, not all, but largely stories of people from the major cities of India. They are also largely glorifying stories of tech or of somebody who's the highly qualified or somebody who came back from overseas or something of that kind. There is a stereotype of a successful entrepreneur. In this show, I have attempted to bring a flavor of various sides of entrepreneurship and I have tried to bring out stories that need to be told of successful people from other parts of the country. India and the entrepreneurial ecosystem is not about the major cities. For those of us who have traveled to the smaller cities of India, not even tier two, tier three, go to tier four, you will be absolutely astonished at the depth thinking and maturity of the entrepreneurial spirit of Indians. Tonight, I bring you a story from a small town called Bidar. For those of you who study history, you know the historical importance of the city. It is the absolute crown jewel of Karnataka. It is surrounded by Maharashtra, Andhra, uh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, on both, both its sides and sits on the tip of Karnataka right to the top. Recently, it had a, an airport opened. But more importantly, two and a half years ago, an entrepreneur, a young entrepreneur, called me to be there. I went there quite apprehensive. I didn't know what to expect. I had never been to be there, even as a tourist. And I was very pleasantly surprised to see in that small town, but a beautiful town, he had created an almost monopolistic situation in the real estate space. I have been trying to help him raise uh, funding for an enterprise that is huge, quite huge, very profitable in the real estate space. And our journey on that front continues. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But this entrepreneur's life itself and journey itself is very interesting and it is a story that needs to be told. So tonight I present to you my guest, Mr. Sanjay Hatti, the managing director of Nisarga Homes. Good evening, Mr. Sanjay. How are you? Yes, sir. Good evening. Thank you, sir. Fine. Thank you. Thank, uh, thank you. You yes. opened my eyes when I came to be there two and a half years ago, just for a day. But I was yes. pleasantly surprised at what you've achieved and even more surprised at your own journey. So yes. my first question is going to be about the journey itself. Yes. Now, you are not from a family of entrepreneurs. <laughs> How did you get into that? Did, did you work somewhere before or did you jump straight into entrepreneurship? Uh, definitely. So thanks for inviting me for this program, wonderful program. Uh, definitely. I started my career in uh, one table in 1999. Uh, there I uh, went to work, uh, joined Gharada Chemicals. So Garada Chemicals is the uh, chemical which produced for uh, pesticide, herbicide, something like that. There I come to know what is company, how they strategically plan, how they do uh, like uh, funding, uh, everything I learned there. After coming back from the, the like one holiday for home, so my father told me, you lost so much of it, you lost so much of money, why don't you start a business? So that is how in uh, uh, one triple nine I started a, a business. A business with the started with the finance uh, then this farmer company and got married with the doctor my wife is a gynecologist that's what i started a hospital so then after that i started uh, uh, one uh, like in the south india's biggest uh, machine the plant that dal mill i started pulse uh, production mill and uh, we along with that i started this big warehouse 60000 square feet big warehouse 
like the, it's a totally uh, whatever business i entered and started done a very big always i i used to do big things i never used to do small things it which we used to work wonders in the tight to city especially uh, absolutely very less competition for big things in the uh, all tier 2 tier tier 3 cities so it uh, went so, to up to yeah so it went up so, to even uh, i bought a big, huge land for uh, uh, start a steel plant so at that time uh, the unable to take the so start that steel plant i converted that land into real estate the into real estate from last 7 years total my 18 years journey out of the 6th year the 7th year is running in real estate yeah uh, real estate this company yeah so you know this, you must yeah. be observing uh, all the big city players right yes. and here you are in this town you have created something equally big etc how yes, how difficult is it for people from smaller towns to actually attract investment and attention of people ah like like we it is very it's a very difficult to attract uh, investor from metro and big cities it is very easy to attract uh, local investors uh, first of all friends relatives and the the like they can become your uh, part time interest like part time partners concerned with their ability concerned with their uh, uh, like uh, subject uh, concerned with their any of their they will become partner so with that they supported and started working that's how it has become so big nisarga started in 2014 uh, 14 and ma, like ma, that in december like it is a sixth year old baby started with only four people and uh, only 10 acre today we have crossed more than 250 cr Uh, net worth uh, plus 100 the uh, staff strength it is <laughs> it so, is all uh, our local available resources no anything outside so coming from a non business background and entering a difficult business like real estate because it is it is a business that has got lot of uh, uh, things that people don't understand yes. uh, how difficult was it in the beginning to get into the real estate field yeah definitely there is no organized player in tier 2 tier 3 cities in these cities people come together take a small land and end up with the fighting so we have started business with 67 acre and fully organized we brought uh, metro like uh, staff from the metro the people used to work like for 1 lakh at metro i brought those people in bidar and they have started working for me they started the people who is having rich experience in real estate they started giving wonderful guidance uh, the local fundraising activity so every, many thing we have done that is how it has become easy and we have it, we are running it as a complete monopoly business we don't have any competitor at all uh, like every year and uh, per district we sell minimum 500 units like that every uh, year we do 500 registration like that we have separate department house we have created standard sops uh, like it, it, people look at us as it's a small tie to city per person he kya karega like we are running it is on par with the metro people that is how i agree i have like, seen it for myself that you yeah. know your projects are all integrated townships the quality was excellent i was surprised that you had erp systems running right through your uh, organization so yeah. but th- let's talk a bit about the talent because you also run an international school you run an hospital as part of uh, yeah. huh. these integrated Definitely. townships the, is it yes. difficult getting talent or has covid made talent more easily available in smaller towns yeah it's very true sir it's very true covid made easy and covid made us to sell more uh, products than non covid time in in fact we covid we made a very major business people started uh, reverse migration from metro to their town so at least they the plot to purchase kar lenge bhai ye concept and we sold all our major inventories in covid in fact and uh, the, not only that the, because of our good this salary people from metro they are started moving to this place uh, in school uh, our principal sees from aurangabad our general manager he is from kolkata our cfo he is from uh, some uh, like vaizag so they are all uh, spent their major time in metro places and now they are staying with me in bidar and doing working for the company the company is giving all facility that school facility uh, level, this lavish residence facility car facility like that 
so bringing talent has become easy because of this because talents are making money now <laughs> yeah. so you know we are seeing that uh, trend even in the stock market right where the, mm. the share prices of all the real estate companies are seeing a huge rebound whether yes, it is godrej properties dlf birla yes. estates any of them it's just going through the roof uh, yes. what what are the uh, markets that are in your vicinity doing well i know you work a lot in hyderabad as well so in the yes. real estate market uh the talk to us a little about how the bidar market has developed and then talk to us a little about uh, how hyderabad is because we hear a lot of noise about hyderabad how yeah, good yeah. is that market what is really happening sure uh, i'll talk a uh, little bit about my company my company is it's a comprehensive township development company in tier 2 tier 3 cities with 40% greenery in township uh, we acquire land 40 50 acre land in that 10% land uh, we did come up with our like villas affordable houses apartment like that in 10% land we keep it reserved for the school hospital and resorts and uh, in balance 80% land we make it a open residential plot as well as commercial plot and we dispose it of very fast right compared to my neighbor price my price is 50% of neighbor price so that is what nobody cannot compete so my i calculate the profit with fixed profit लैंड कॉस्ट इतना हो गया ऊपर का खर्चा दे दिस इज ऑल टुगेदर इज माय कॉस्ट इज दिस एंड कंपेयर माय कॉस्ट विद नेबर कॉस्ट ही इज ऑलमोस्ट 50% दैट्स व्हाट वी सेल मोर द सेम कांसेप्ट लाइक इन हैदराबाद व्हाई इट इज स्पीकिंग सो वेल हैदराबाद लाइक आंध्र तेलंगाना डिवाइडेड टू आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग आंध्र डजंट हैव मच इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दे आर आंध्र डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स आर वेरी कैश रिच डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स दे आर मेकिंग गुड मनी फॉर स्पेंडिंग दे डोंट हैव एनी प्लेस they are coming and investing in hyderabad for simple restaurant also they come to hyderabad so that is what whatever the material people are preparing there is zero stock in the hyderabad if you go to bangalore you will find more than 2 2.5 lakh apartments are pending unsold apartments are pending if sure. you go to bombay it is all in all the places it is like except uh, this uh, hyderabad and now like recently even godrej uh, shobha developers many people entered hyderabad hyderabad is booming or it is extraordinary excellent it's performing no doubt and so, uh, the since it is compared to hyderabad it is not so modernized it is still under progress uh, sure, sure. we have bangalore uh, grown vertical uh, hyderabad is growing horizontal that's one advantage uh, bangalore always lived on the hype for the last 20 yeah. years and the real uh, action was always happening in cities like chennai hyderabad and all that so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's good and uh, it's good to see that these cities are really you know catching up and exceeding uh, yes sir to uh, bangalore which is which gets uh, disproportionate amount of media coverage yes, let's talk about your uh, own journey for a little bit uh, you have been an entrepreneur you have succeeded at uh, what i would consider a fairly young age coming from a family of non entrepreneurs where your father encouraged you to do entrepreneurship which is very interesting when you see all these young people nowadays running around and trying to become successful entrepreneurs what are the things that you think or qualities that you think that they need to have to succeed today because you have gone through ups and downs because you have shared yeah. your journey with me so i know that you had your yes, downs as well Yes, so yes, sir, sir, yes. What is the things that people need to remember to become successful entrepreneurs? Yeah, that's what, sir. One should have a definitely, no doubt, a big dream. Apart from that dream, the like thousand uh, kilometers of journey start with a single step. So they have to take one or the other way. Taking initi- taking initiative is very important part in the business. Like if you go to job, started working about that morning nine to evening nine, working for eight to ten hour or twelve hour. once you he fall under that comfortable he will never become a, a entrepreneur Emperor, entrepreneur is having like he will be having all the day rest he will be he need to work 24 hours also uh, my uh, personal uh, suggestion to young entrepreneurs is to take initiative do not plan for 100% uh, think of, think of 100% plan for only next 10 10% that that will become easy achievable and you can definitely take it up and it will definitely complete <laughs> that's the one the secret one do you do you sometimes uh, wonder when you start see some of these uh, young tech entrepreneurs talk of this fancy valuations without yes. 
as much of a track record as you do you sometimes wonder that you know maybe you should have started in a big city or something yeah 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 even i felt many time but now like so that's what we are maintaining now our head office at hyderabad for convenience that's for compliance everything uh, like definitely talents are lying there in metro that helps to bring new talent in this Uh, definitely so, it helps sir <laughs> yeah definitely so in this journey that you've gone through over the last 10 15 years what are the few uh, character traits of your own that have helped you which which we, other people can you know learn from ha ah, definitely sir patience one uh, second uh, always i used to make a backup plan when i start one business when i take a liability my father used to tell तो लोन लेता है तो उसका बैकअप क्रिएट करके लोन ले सो वेन एवर आई यूज टू टेक अ लोन फ्रॉम द बैंक उसमें आउट ऑफ दैट लोन 10 और 15 परसेंट आई यूज टू इन्वेस्ट इन अ लॉन्ग रन इन्वेस्टमेंट लाइक पुटिंग दैट 10 और 15 परसेंट इन द लैंड दैट यूज टू गिव वंडर्स सो 10 परसेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट यूज टू गिव हंड्रेड परसेंट इनकम सो दैट हैज हेल्पड मी दैट इज वन पॉइंट सेकेंड डेफिनेटली यू ट्राई टू वर्क विथ यूअर लाइक नोन पीपल इनिशियली so they should give 100% to your institution which will help you to like keep calm and you can take still better decision and uh, don't be after credit and go as much as possible with uh, with own money or friends money if you don't have even making payment to for your salary payment give them some stake let them become a partner in your company that is how we can start a, a business these are all for a few tips you can <laughs> interesting yeah when when i came i i saw the townships being built etc and uh, obviously you are selling to you sold in the past few years to hundreds of customers yes and real estate companies are known to you know show good brochures and uh, poor execution how have you managed to uh, you know f- avoid that perception yeah very good question sir in this like particular people used to fail only in this matter whatever we commit we used to give because we formed a totally five different department marketing is different sales is different again development is different and after that uh, the closing registration part is different and hr department and um, i i made interlinked in that the individual department head will fight with each other to complete that assignments for example at the time of booking marketing fellow com- uh, committed that a dunga he'll see it is his prime duty he will fight with the developer the development department to complete it so that early as possible so that he will complete so like this we we do the morning evening briefing that in that briefing we, this will help us for uh, completing the uh, the so whatever we committed to the customer as well as the society <laughs> still so, we don't have we started comp- as earlier i told we started with the company yeah. 60 like Uh, but with zero debt uh, we have not taken any debt so far uh, because, because we are maintaining customer uh, uh, we have become very loyal to customer uh, so again customer is bringing another customer we are spending very less money on marketing nowadays so we spoke about uh, the shareholders we spoken about customers but there is a third part which is your employees right and yes, yes. while you can bring all the talent from outside you have to also retain the talent and you have to also yes, retain all the people as you are growing so fast uh, yes, how sir. how does a entrepreneur manage that because you have so much pressure of cash flow you can't pay the, all those fancy salaries of big cities etc how do you manage that uh, definitely as earlier i told that i made all different department every month first one day morning till evening one day whole day will have that meeting commitment of the month commitment of the week commitment of the day so like that they have to commit and follow up for follow up there is again second quarter so these people will follow up them for that achieving that given target in that we'll be having fixed receivable fixed payable fixed uh, development fixed again uh, investments we have a very clear set of uh, team they will uh, like internally they will fight for their business if they are constantly achieving that year end he will get a wonderful increment wonderful promotion if he is constantly failing he will not get he will make it get demoter change the department either he has to perform or give it to somebody else the per, 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 people who wants to perform there are people they are in the queue agar fail hoga to mai lunga like that people are there 
so we created that very good chain my hr department is quite strong in this they take stringent action instantly uh, it is uh, so uh, so refreshing to speak to you because in very simple plain language simple home truths if people and young entrepreneurs who get to go after these big mentors and try to learn these big words if they just listen to you these are simple home grown truths to set up a successful hundreds of crores business and yes, create yes. a monopoly situation without yes. a doubt but uh, tell me something in real estate we touched upon this a little bit earlier uh, gaining customer trust is tough so for the yes. first few projects yes. how did you manage that in a city like bidar trying to sell integrated townships uh, trying to sell small plots of land uh, how did people trust you with their money sir so, definitely sir initially i started selling my plots at very affordable price uh, but people used to sell 5 lakh 6 lakh 8 lakh i started 2 lakh 10000 is a cost of my plot with all complaints with all development sir i sold like 1000 uh, plot in 3 months people used to buy my plots in queue that was the first hit we got wonderful uh, uh, gain uh, like after that we started selling 12.5 lakh 2 bhk house log bolte rahe yaar tu chhat to dal ke dega na 12.5 lakh mein for this we hmm. got uh, almost uh, 18 awards from different uh, places from the uh, all across country even uh, the entrepreneurs uh, magazine uh, times of india together they have been awarded there are so many awards we got Uh, so this is a one place like after this when we enter gulbarga it's a total new to us uh, like uh, people from they took many reference from the neighbor like they, they took a reference from the local bidder and started buying there itself and my price is quite affordable compared to any other in the city so that is one uh, very lucrative part of my business yeah uh, people so, take at least 4 5 years to sell their product i take only 3 month to dispose of all the yeah. property so uh, most of the time uh, i'm interviewing young entrepreneurs etc who are yet to become successful or achieve financial success etc uh, you have achieved uh, good success pretty fast etc in a small town that must be putting a lot of spotlight on you uh, how do you deal with that because you know there will be a competition there will be jealousy there will be demands etc so as an entrepreneur how do you deal with that because you want to spend your time growing the business and all this is yes. a distraction so how yes. does one deal with that yes sir it is very high particular place like tier 2 tier 3 this is very high like even a politician bureaucrats gunda local news people everybody will be after people like me so for this we have started one ecosystem in our ecosystem we started one more business called bharat news Uh, so it is uh, uh, branded as a the daily news daily news newspaper so which will protect us from the all the social elements <laughs> uh, that's this is interesting to manage uh, per- perception you have uh, launched your own uh, media <laughs> brand <laughs> yes sir, that kind of activistic <laughs> which brings so me to have... yes go ahead go ahead please go yeah, ahead. all together we have totally six uh, companies so five companies Nisarga Homes, then Neft Schools. It is an international school. Vijaya Hospital, then Nisarga uh, Resorts, and this Bharat News. All are running parallelly. Still, uh, any of us doesn't have any, any liability as on today. I want so to. When do you me. launch this news news uh, company? When does it come out in print? Uh, this month, then, sir. Oh. <laughs> Another two, three days. It is like that. It is in the last moment. Everything is finalized for this thing. Uh, so, we have done all this uh, hospital resorts and even uh, school in bidar very well it's running very smoothly <laughs> same thing we'll copy it in, uh, in all the places gulbarga and wherever we i did visit your school when it was in the final stages of construction yes. and it yes. was an absolutely fabulous uh, facility yes. so the um, one final question before i uh, let you go because i've taken more time than i asked you for thank you sir uh, you are still young and you have got a lot of way to go and i'm sure you'll do f- f- fabulously well yes but is what are the things that you know uh, you do that you feel you can give back to society or uh, for your local community etc other things that you do or are you thinking in that direction yes sir it is there that's what i told initially my company 
we uh, run with the any project we launch with the 40% greenery first we are providing greenery apart from that we have separate fund for the all the social responsibility work we do lot of uh, recently we have distributed very good number of uh, school bag to this uh, all non affordable uh, school girls like that uh, we make a huge tree plantation drive we make a milk uh, uh, the breast milk uh, feeding drive and we make lot of social program like this we have separate fund separate team for that to exclude to do deal with all these things mr sanjay thank you very much for joining me tonight you are refreshingly candid and really home truths no fancy stuff no fancy language but this is how you build uh, companies coming from non entrepreneurship background profitable large companies that have large shares of the market in an area where trust is low but still you build it expand and grow i wish you the very best i'm very sure in a few years time you will be a publicly listed company at the rate Thank you are growing i will you. wish you the very best and i wish the nisarga family all the best for the future thank you yes yes sir thank, thank you. you and thank good you. night yeah 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 good night <laughs>